This is a video about using Photoshop Elements 10 to save an image with a transparent background. Uh, that would be to use uh, in another program. So I have here an uh, image file that I downloaded from the uh, internet. And uh, I want to take this uh, Apollo uh, capsule and uh, I want to separate it from its background. So to do this, I'm going to hit uh, Control Plus, a little bit larger, pull down the space key, and shift this a little bit, pull down the space key, and shift it just a little. Move my panel bin, and I'm going to choose the Quick Selection tool. I'm going to select the uh, make sure the plus, and I'm going to select. Brush size, a little bit of brush hardness. And I'm going to go. And I'm not going to worry too much here about overshooting. Okay. And now I'm going to. Uh, I've got some stuff I want to eliminate here. I'm going to take the uh, subtract from selection. And go around here. And back a little bit. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this. And uh, add a little bit right here. Subtract a little bit. And I'm going to make my brush a little smaller as I get up into this area. And I'm going to add. Down my space key Come around here. Holding down the space key again. This looks pretty good. Oh, should be adding. Space key. Oh, should we add it again? And I think that looks. Good. Control minus Bring that a little bit. And now I'm going to uh, right click and select layer via cut. Now I'm going to turn off the uh, visibility uh, for that first one, and you'll see that uh, I now have a uh, transparent background showing on here. I'm going to hold down the shift key a little bit and uh, 
Now I'm going to be uh, using this image in a, with another uh, background, and I'm going to uh, do a little manipulation here on the um, color of it because we're going to go with a different colored environment. I'm going to choose a photo filter and I'm going to pick here a uh, warming filter. And this is the color I'm going to use and the density. Okay, in order to save the transparency information, I transfer this to another program. I'm going to save this as a PNG. Rename it. Select non interlaced. The file has been saved. Switch over here to Adobe Illustrator. Use an example program. We're using it somewhere else. Create a new document. Custom size. And I'm going to open this file. And here you can see it's a little bit large. I'm going to zoom out. And I'm going to Transform by scaling this. I'm going to pick 30% uh, scale. And you can see I've made it small. This is my artboard, so I know it fits pretty clearly within it. I'm going to get the artboard in the window. Now I want to go back to Photoshop Elements and look at another file. Now here's a file that I could do some manipulation on here in uh, Photoshop Elements, but I can also do that stuff in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to uh, select this. Now since I don't have transparency information to deal with, I'm going to uh, be able to take this uh, by just hitting Control C. And then go into my other program. And here I can just um, hit Control B, and I copy that image file from here. I'm going to fit it to the artboard without being particularly worried about constraining the proportions. And then I'm going to have this selected. Right click and I'm going to arrange this, sending it to the back so now we can see our capsule. And uh, this looks uh, pretty much what I wanted. I might want to center this capsule just a little bit more. I'll grab this image and just move it over right there. Now, the lighting isn't exactly what I had in mind. So I'm going to take this background image and I'm going to transform it by reflecting it vertically. And that gives me the lighting coming from the direction that I wanted. Uh, one other thing I'd like to do, I've got a little bit of a mismatch in terms of resolution between the background image and I'm going to go and blur that a bit. Gaussian blur. And I'm going to select a radius of uh, one pixel. And uh, that gives it a uh, pretty good effect. So this is the way that we're able to uh, take a, an image with a, a transparent background and take it to another file where it can be used uh, to produce uh, the effects we're looking for there. Go back to Photoshop and for further information uh, go to uh, drinfrastructure.com.